Hi everyone, today we continue our series of tutorials on differential equations and in this episode we discuss boundary value problems. Previously we learned how to solve initial value problems. You can check that tutorial and the link is in the description. Now I'm going to teach you the essential skills to solve a boundary value problem. I try to go beyond simple problems and we discuss some creative stuff too, so let's go. I want to solve this equation with these boundary values. You may remember from our previous tutorial that in order to solve a second order initial value problem, our initial conditions contained one equation for y and another for y prime, both at the beginning of time interval. Now for BVPs, you can see the equations are different. To solve boundary value problems, we use this solver, BVP4C. I type help BVP4C and here is the general form of using this solver. This solver can only have one output argument which we name sol here and it takes three arguments the equation, the boundary condition and the initial guess. The first argument is the system of equations, which we define using a function f. The procedure is similar to ODE45 command. We have a second order equation, so the state variables are going to be y and y prime. So ds dt will be y prime and y double prime. I define ds dt using my state variables. Of course, y double prime is equal to negative exponential y. Next, we should define the boundary conditions. Look at the boundary conditions. We can understand that we want to solve from 0 to 1. Let's name the beginning of our interval a and the ending b. I have one equation for a and one equation for b. I write a header for my bc function. It is the standard form and I advise you to keep it like this. Ya is a vector which contains y and y prime values at a. Yb is a vector containing y and y prime at b. Important note, when you want to write the boundary conditions, the right hand size must be zero. In our problem, it is already satisfied, but we will see other situations in another problem. So our boundary values should be written like this output equal to the first argument of ya and the first argument of yb. The third input argument is sol in it. This is the initial guess which we should provide for the solver and it needs an initializer named bvp in it. sol in it equal to bvp in it. So as the first argument I discretize the interval using linear space function. I discretize 0 to 1 with 5 points. Now I should give a value to each of these points. I can define a function for that or I can give all of them a constant value. Each point must have a value for y and a value for y prime. I give all of them 0 for both of the values. Now I can run the code. I take a look at sol. It has x and y and yp, which stands for y prime. This is sol.x. I had defined it here. This is the solution for y and y prime. And sol.yp is again y prime and y double prime. So I plot y versus x. I can also add more points and run again.
I know that this equation has another solution too. To find the other solution, I must use a more complicated initial guess. I use the same values for x, but I define the function for corresponding y and y prime values at each node. I name the function guess. I define it with one input and one output argument. I know this parabola is similar to my answer, since its value is zero at my boundaries. I use this parabola and its derivative as the output. Now if I run, it gives me the same answer. I multiply my initial guess by 20, and this is the second solution. Next, I want to solve this equation. This is a first order equation with one unknown variable. So we need one equation for the ODE and one equation to find lambda. These are the two boundary conditions for that matter. I solved the problem and I hope you can follow the procedure with me. The trick is to take my unknown variable to be y and lambda. And ds dt will be y prime and lambda prime. I know the equation for y prime and since lambda is a constant, its derivative will be zero. So I write the equations. For boundary conditions, this is A and this is B. As I said, the right hand side of my boundary condition equations must be zero. So I rewrite the equations like this. And this is going to be my output. For the initial guess, again I discretize my interval into 50 points. and I use some initial guess for y and lambda. And this is the solution. And I also check lambda. Here it is, my constant value. I want to mention that for these special kinds of problems where we have one equation with one unknown parameter, 
we can use BVP4C in a more advanced way. Here I define my equation. But I add one more input argument. MATLAB understands that this is a constant parameter. Then I must also add this constant to my BC. YA and YB are no longer vectors. They are simply the values for Y at the boundaries. Also, for my initial guess, I must enter Y and Lambda separately. To find lambda, I write sol.parameters. And this is the plot. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I would be grateful if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.